So what's the difference between this version of Dolce Melodia and this version of Dolce Melodia? You're going to find out in this video coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. Man, you guys get really pissed off at me if I don't deal with something you ask me to do. But honestly, I don't know how many people came forward and asked me to find out what this one was all about compared to this one. So these are both Sospiro Dolce Melodia. This one came out in 2023, and I thought it was a fairly original fragrance created by Christian Provenzano. But when I aired that video with Joe almost a year ago discussing this house, then also falling completely in love with Dolce Melodia 2023, and also recommending it in videos countless over and over again, many of you came forward and asked me what this one was all about. If you look at the two fragrances, Dolce Melodia on the orange bottle just says Dolce Melodia on the, the, the little uh, seal right there, in the metal seal. But this one basically says Dolce right here and then Melodia right here. So I actually tried to order this fragrance several times and there was mix up with uh, the couple of different places I ordered it from. So finally, during my travels in Japan, I think I, I encountered somebody really, really pissed off at me for not answering the question about what this version of Dolce Melodia is in comparison to this. So honestly, I don't have access to every single fragrance, so I can't, you know, respond to every single question as well and I was trying to get this fragrance shipped to me because like I said I didn't know anything about this and I thought all along Dolce Melodia 2023 was the original version but sure enough there was a version out there and so I ordered mine during the trip in Japan when I received some really nasty comments from some folks saying that I don't respond to messages and things like that so I did order it ordered it from Joma Shop, which actually now it seems is completely sold out. And I have a link to uh, the Walmart store where I did find the product before that I had problems with. These were being sold by third-party sellers kind of a thing. So orders got messed up, lost, and things like that. So I kept trying to order this fragrance since November of 2023. Try to answer this uh, video, I mean, answer the question about the differences between these fragrances. So finally I have them. But it doesn't look like they're stock out there much anymore. Maybe perhaps there will be some, but we shall see. But let me tell you a little bit history about Sospiro. So Sospiro was part of Zerzhov. So Zerzhov had Sospiro, but again, I don't know the 100% you know, uh, story behind it, but what I remember is Sospiro was part of Zerzhov, and it was a collab or ownership with some other parties, and something happened, and um, they separated, and so Sospiro went on their own from Zerzhov, and so Zerzhov, you know, did their own thing, obviously. Zerzhov is very successful, and so they continuously uh, release uh, fragrances that are really big sellers. But Sospiro disappeared for a while. I believe the Sospiro relationship was, I think, somewhere around 2018, if I'm remembering correctly. I remember something around... Uh, the earlier part of 2018 that I think uh, Zerzhov and Sospiro separated. So up until I believe late 2022 is when I started seeing Sospiro fragrances again. But when I go to Parfumo.net, Dolce Melodia comes up as a 2020 fragrance, but on Fragrantica, it says 2023 here. So I don't know when this particular fragrance came out, and to me, this looks more like a Zerzhov production with the whole Melodia spelled out like that. I, I, I have this strange feeling that this was not 2020. It was from earlier. But again, I don't know. There's no mention of this particular version in databases. So I can't really tell you uh, what that's all about. But let me tell you a couple more things before we move on to the scent. So when you look at the packaging for the white bottle, it's like this. And so on the bottom, or on the back, I should say, it says 
Sospiro Limited, made in Italy, and there's a SospiroOfficial.com website. That's all there is. Inside the box is this. Uh, on the back of the new Sospiro packaging, there's a lot more detail. As you can see here, it does have an address in France, in Paris of all places. Uh, but uh, it's the Champs Elysees, it says. But it does say made in Italy. But this is also owned by a party in uh, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. I think that was the partnership of Zerzhov with the folks in Dubai. And again, I don't know the details, the technicalities, why say they separated, but that particular group still corresponds with Zerzhov, so it must have been a friendly departure. But as I was saying, this has been my favorite release of 2023. If you caught my video on favorite fragrances of 2023, this was my favorite fragrances of 2023, or Discovery at least, whereas the year before that was raw gold. So what are the differences? Okay, so when I compare them side by side, I'm going to tell you a little bit, and I'm also smell on camera as well. They both smell similar. They do. But there are differences here. One of the biggest noticeable differences is Dolce Melodia 2023 is a lot more robust and beefy, whereas Dolce Melodia in the white bottle is more flat. Just imagine when you open up a can of Coke, when you have that first sip, it's, you know, alive, it's there, it's big, it's the kind of flavor you like. But imagine coming back to that can of Coke an hour later and it's gone flat. And that's what I'm experiencing between the two fragrances, as if the Mel Dolce Melodia in the white bottle seems like it's either been matured or aged or it's old stock or just how it was produced. It doesn't feel as robust next to the original. Now, there are some minute differences in smells as well. When you get past the robustness of the current version compared to the old version, and also the current version, there's a bit of roughness that's not in the, the original in the white bottle with the purple uh, text on it. So those are the differences I'm experiencing with this uh, the di between the two. And so if you were looking for that and you can find it, I think it'll do the job because mostly the fragrance does smell very similar to the new version. And again, I don't know who did the previous version because the, the new version says Christian Provenzano, who has done all of the fragrances for the latest Sospiro fragrances. So... Was Christian Provenzano involved with Sospiro back then? But then again, I have a feeling what's going on is the formulas are between the two companies, like Zerzhov and Sospiro, so they have access to it, and they took the formula and made it even more robust and intensified it. So if Zerzhov, when they owned Sospiro, you know, they had different labs, so they probably used ingredients that are the same, but if they're from different places in the world, they're definitely not going to smell identical. So that's kind of what's going on here, I feel like. So not only are there like minute differences between the two, the robustness of the er, the new version in the orange bottle is so noticeable. Like as soon as I sprayed it, when I opened the, bo the box in here, I thought, wow, that seems a bit underwhelming. It's kind of what I like about the new Sospiro fragrances. They're eau de parfum, but they're so robust and in your face, and that's what I like about them. So a little about the fragrances, if you don't know. The, the new version is selling out there, and I have a link in the info box. It's $315, 100 ml. It's a 2023 launch. Again, Christian Provenzano. Notes are gardenia, mandarin orange, vanilla, white musk, sandalwood, orange, pear, blackcurrant, jasmine, rose, saffron. To me, it acts like an amber floral. There's some woodiness in there as well, but lots of flowers and fruits and citruses, but a beefy, like this is not a fresh, like it doesn't act fresh when you want to wear something fresh and thin and transparent in the summertime when you're doing that these light citruses this has some major heft to it like it's robust and that's what I like about it and one of the things I like about Dolce Melodia is my studio is in an old historic building it's uh, over a hundred years old so there's a there's a smell to the building when I spray that stuff on and I walk out into the hall that fragrance smells so amazing because once my nose hits the smell of the hall and the fragrance I pick up off of me, 
oh my god, it is so freaking intoxicating. It's magical the way that whole experience happens. So yeah, Dolce Melodia for me has been one of my favorite fragrances of 2023. I absolutely love it. And I do get compliments from it as well. It has a massive trail for an eau de parfum. It's so robust, so in your face. I love it. But you gotta love fruits. You gotta love flowers. You gotta love that kind of powdery, vanillic, ambery characteristic of this fragrance when it's drying down. There's also the muskiness and the woodiness here. And then some light milkiness comes in as well, like powdered milk. But wow, amazing, amazing fragrance. But I shouldn't say this is bad. If you can find it, get it. This will be a great collector's item for me because I'm such a fan of this fragrance. And I'm glad you guys were pushing me to buy this fragrance to test it out. Yes, they're similar, not identical. It's almost like, you know, sometimes... I don't know if I should use this example, but sometimes there's a movie that's made, it doesn't really do well, this is not usually the case though, then they remake it and it's a lot more successful, which sometimes it's the other way around, it's, the remakes are not successful, but that's what I'm envisioning here. So it was launched once, it didn't do very well, and it was brought back here in this form, and you know, it's, it's a wow fragrance, literally. It's my favorite Sospiro fragrance, and uh, I, I really, really love it. it. And it does it does smell like a Zerzhov fragrance, by the way. Zerzhov does have fragrances like this. They, they probably did this version, especially knowing this. Uh, they probably did it. But I, I don't know. Again, this is all speculation. This is what I've heard and also found out from various sources. And this is what probably happened. But when I first got into the game, uh, I know Sospiro and Zerzhov were all together. They also had Kemi, which... Now Kemi fragrances are moved into the original Zerzhov collection. And then, of course, they also have Casa Morati, which is a separate collection as well. But sadly, the, there was that fall. I don't know if it's a falling out because they're still kind of friendly. But Sospiro separated and there's all this. Um, there's overlap as well that I did not mention, like Erba, the Erba Pura. I think both brands, like Zerzhov has Erba Pura, I believe. That's not my favorite fragrance, by the way. So that's why I've never reviewed it. Uh, maybe I'll circle back to it. But I think Zerzhov has Herba Pura and also Sospiro has Herba Pura. But also, there's a bunch of Herba fragrances between the two brands. Like Zerzhov just launched Herba Gold, which is a bubblegummy, fruity, creamy fragrance. Uh, so, and also Sospiro has a lot of Herba fragrances. So I guess both of them can use the Herba name and fragrances but yeah they were once as, as a similar com company i mean the same company and they are now separated but if you can find this i think it'll do the job as long as you're not into the beefier fragrances because this version is uber beefy for an eau de parfum it's so vibrant it's so big it's so in your face and compared to the white bottle purple text Remember I said this one also have, has a bit of roughness, something rough in there. Not animalic, but just it, does, it doesn't seem like it's smoothed over, uh, like polished. And I like that about it because um, it's either like something musky or woody that's a bit dirty in there along with all the gorgeous flowers and citruses and uh, fruits that are in here. So that's the difference. But yeah, the, you, I bought mine for about 155 bucks. If you can find it, get it. Walmart had it for around 120 but both uh, the Joma shop and Walmart are, you know, out of stock, unfortunately. So you might have to uh, get yourself this. But... But stay tuned for some announcement very soon on the channel that will involve Dolce Melodia. That's basically the only clue I can give you. But uh, come back to find out in a few days or a week or so um, and uh, you'll discover. But anyway, I'm sorry I wasn't able to report on this sooner or faster. Finally have. And um, again, if you can find it, get it. But I'd say go with this because this stuff is amazing. And I haven't really compared the longevity between the two because whenever I put this particular version on, I feel like, as I said, it's subdued. So I want to just rush out and spritz this stuff on top of it because I know the longevity of that one is uh, much more 
prominent and, and longer lasting compared to the uh, the uh, white bottle. But again, some of you don't like the beastly fragrances, so you might be fine with the original Dolce Melodia if you can get your hands on it. But if you can afford it, get yourself a bottle of the new Dolce Melodia. I think it's fantastic. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.